Hi folks, Michael Collins of ViralReporter.com on Wednesday, August 31st, 2011. We're going to test another beer from Japan. Here it is. I'm not going to show you the label, but it's from Japan. It was brought over here to Radiation Station uh, by Dale Remicone once again. He supplied us with a very good uh, selection of foodstuffs as we've acquired our own as well. So what I'm going to do is take this beer and I am going to pour it through this filter. And as we learned with our other Japanese beer that Dale brought, oh this has much less of a head than that other beer. What we're going to do is pour the contents of this beer through just these simple filters, just like the kind you use for coffee. And we're going to see if we can pick up any excess radiation that possibly might be in this beer. If we were to, we probably wouldn't be measuring all of it in the filter because the filter is, uh, you can get filters down to, I believe, what is it, uh, 0.1 microns to filter your water to try to reduce volatile organic camp compounds, radionuclides, things like that in your water. <coughs> So what I'm doing here is I'm pouring this beer through this filter. And this beer comes from a prefecture that apparently got a lot of the fallout from the initial phases of uh, Fukushima Daiichi beginning March 11th of this year. I think it's called Koshi Hikari. Uh, and it's, uh, uh, I, I believe, a prefecture. And uh, in any case, this beer is made from rice. And that rice in that prefecture, which I probably have the wrong name of, was uh, when they harvested the rice this year, they fed their cattle with the rice stalks that are left over. And the cattle manure was radioactive. So, we have no idea of whether this, this Japanese beer has any excess radiation in it. We do know that we've taken a background in radiation station here previous, prior to this testing, and uh, establish that background. Then we're going to do a 10 minute average of that filter right there, and see if there's a difference, and see if there's more uh, radiation than you would normally get with background radiation. You can still see there's some liquid down in the bottom there. And the whole idea here is to try to concentrate anything that might be in this beer and um, try to take out the water which does act as uh, interference. So that looks like it's pretty down. 
So what I'm going to do is I am going to take this flash dish and fold up this filter so it'll lay down in that dish and not touch our detector but we still are right on top of it perfect so I'm going to take this away and if there's radiation from fallout from Fukushima making its way through the food chain in this beer the liquid I just took away is probably going to have some of it in it. And that means that whatever we're getting here, if we get anything, uh, probably will be undercounted. But uh, I don't know how important the actual numbers are other than trying to determine uh, does this particular filter is it uh, impacted at all so we'll take a 10 minute average using our inspector and have the sound on, 100% calibrated, good to go for 10 minutes. See how it's recessed up this apparatus here? That way it won't touch that right there. That way it'll read true. So here we go. Now with alpha and beta radionuclides, these actual particles, best to get right on top of them if you want to detect them. This is, is pretty close. We'll take a 10 minute average. We'll figure out what the counts per minute are. If they're above the background, We'll do a little math and see how much. Everything you're hearing is ionization that's coming from background sources and possibly whatever's in that filter right there. This is taking a total and then we divide it. That makes it more accurate. You can have this just reading in lifetime and it would be a uh, the computer and the inspector has a 30 second rolling average updated every three seconds so you can do a pretty good job just right on the spot with it it's, uh, it's better to do it this way especially if you can control your environment where you know what the uh, background radiation in the environment is
if you're wondering why it matters that this beer may or may not have uh, a little extra something in it well uh, it does matter it um, all of this matters uh, we tested another beer uh, it came in at 30.1 percent above normal and uh, so people have asked me what's what, what kind of level is okay what kind of level can you you, you would take in and still be okay from uh, radiation exposure. Well, you don't have to ask me. The National Academy of Scientists of Science in uh, 2005 came out with a with the milestone report that said no additional amount of radiation of any amount is beneficial, and any amount of additional radiation that a, a person is exposed to is not help uh, is is harmful and of course the harm increases with the amount now in the situation that we're in where we're faced with exposure to uh, radio uh, radiation from fallout that's you, you look around nobody seems to even know it's happening but you know it's happening so what do you do about it you try to minimize your exposure simple thing if you think that rain's hot coming in on the jet stream try to stay out of it try to make sure your pets aren't out there lapping away at the puddles however if you have a storm blow in off the Atlantic it might be kind of like what happened when Porter Blog went on vacation down in Florida and he, he found that there was no radiation on storms coming in off the Atlantic and I'm still wondering if anybody took measurements of the precipitation in Hurricane Irene to gauge its radiation content if any My gut feeling on this is I think it's coming in low. So what we'll have is we'll have one beer that uh, has 30% more radiation emanating from it, apparently, versus uh, another beer that is possibly uh, all this uh, ionization you're hearing and seeing is uh, possibly just from background. Just seems that way. So this will actually be a good uh, video to show that uh, not all the Japanese beer we've tested comes up hot. As a matter of fact, we've just tested two. This is the second one. just coming up to background at a very slow rate of ionization. I think this is, uh, we're a little over it, but remember that 15% margin of error. I think it would be good news if the 10 minutes were to come to a conclusion right now.
that's the end of the 10 minute period it's still going to act like it's detecting you'll hear it and uh, see it flash and it is detecting further but it's just not going to add to that total I'm going to do some quick math total of 46.6 counts per minute because you've divided by 10 minus the background divided by the background And you've got you have the exact same, exact same, well, not out to the hundreds, but thirty point two percent higher in radiation, uh, that filter there, then uh, background, 30% higher than normal. Same amount as the other deer, exactly. That's really something. Uh, like I said, the liquid that I poured through the beer, uh, I'm going to go run the detector over it, uh, but uh, there's probably a little more radiation there. Uh, but we obviously uh, picked up something with these filters and um, it's something to take note of especially considering that uh, I don't think your government is keeping a very close eye on this